very good evening friends meeting again in the session of materia medica and last time we have discussed one remedy from ammonium group from the third year syllabus today we'll going to learn one more that is ammonium muriaticum yes i will going to share many things about ammonium muriaticum because allen has given very short description about this remedy if you'll go through the allen yes skin notes are there but you cannot understand the core of ammonium muriaticum unless you understand the remedy properly and that's why i will going to share two cases and then i will turn towards the uh, basically the allen skin notes both cases are female cases in my practice it was uh, one case was nearly about 6 7 years back it was the case of 40 years female she was 40 years female she was brought to me with severe right sided sciatica and she had a along with sciatica she had shortening of that leg the leg has become shortened second important thing which was there that it was associated with the irritable bowel syndrome ibs was there she used to get off and on diarrhea and that diarrhea has one characteristic she used to get that diarrhea specifically during the menses and that flow of the menses was used to happen more at night second important thing she was a lady who was very much depressed her looks were absolutely depressed because of either because of her illness because of past history where there was some some family problems in fact had happened earlier and that grief was constant in her mind because of which she was become she became morose she was absolutely felt alone and she never wants to get mixed she wants to remain aloof her face was looking little bit greasy she used to have cracks at the corners of mouth so picture was looking more towards the natremia but one important thing which was there that shortening of hamstring shortening of leg was very characteristic then i have discussed whole things about her then i checked her and she found to be hypertensive also when i asked have you checked the blood pressure before she said yes five years back i have checked it it was little bit higher but doctor said don't take medicine i have not taken any medicine there after but doctor my blood pressure is because of my stress tensions so grip was there a muriaticum personalities have very close association natremur again a mur muriaticum is chloride and chloride personalities are generally a persons personalities where grief is common factor and second important thing after grief which is which they tries to hide over there weeps when alone never wants to get mixed with the people wants to remain alone all those things are quite common with the muriaticum group that's why it look it was looking very close to the natremia then diarrhea during the menses again goes to the magmur close because there in magmur and am ammonia mur there was one common factor that the stools when come they comes out they crumble at the verge of anus that is that is not mac factor that is a muriaticum factor muriaticum is close with in both remedies and that's why it was looking looking towards magmur it was looking like a natremur but this future that shortening of the strings rheumatism uh, sciatica associated with a diarrhea and which was aggravated during menses was the characteristic which was defining ammonium muriate i was not expecting the result because i am ammonia more was not a remedy which i have used more commonly in my practice but still as it was showing that characteristic i have given ammonia muriaticum 200 potency nearly about 3 days i consecutively i have given the ammonia muriaticum to the patient and i asked to take the rest completely i asked the patient to meet me after a week 
and when after a week she came she was tremendously happy her sciatica was much better nearly about 60% improvement was there but more than that the diarrhea also got settled there was no colic during the diarrhea everything all symptoms which were related second important thing which was noticeable that her face was changed which was looking like a sullen morose came she came out of that grief she was a little bit happy and she said directly doctor i am feeling very happy i told you that i never wanted to mix, get mixed with the people but now the things are changed yesterday there was a gathering of our family members i was there earlier i used to avoid that now yesterday i went directly so that was a wonderful thing which has happened after ammonium muriaticum and ammonium ammonium muriaticum those features are very characteristic second case was again of female she was just 30 years of age she had a hemorrhoids she came for hemorrhoids but when i took her history she told very clearly doctor since 2 3 years i was suffering from leucorrhea i have taken many treatments for leucorrhea leucorrhea was absolutely mucoid like white of an egg it was gushing it was profuse it was associated with severe pain in abdomen whenever it used to pass and whenever i used to go for urination it used to get passed that was the characteristic but what has happened 6 months back there was one gynecologist and she has given some local pills i have kept that along with she has given orally some medicines and leucorrhea has stopped and since leucorrhea has stopped after taking those pills nearly about within a week i started getting the hemorrhoids problem and that those hemorrhoids were very severe burning See, there was severe burning whenever i used to go for closet the burning persists for hours together it was burning there was smarting and i cannot tolerate the spicy things anything anything uh, little bit pungent i cannot tolerate and the burning it is not getting settled i have seen by many surgeons but they told that yes they apply this ointment apply those and all those things i am trying but it is not getting settled and but since this problem has started there is no more leucorrhea it has stopped since 6 months i am not suffering from that see this is very this was very important for me so i look towards the this symptom that hemorrhoids after suppressed leucorrhea Now I got ammonium muriaticum. Then I have selected ammonium muriaticum. I read whole ammonium muriaticum, and picture was very clear. So I have started her on ammonium muriaticum. Little bit I was thinking about acid nitricum because acid nitricum has also severe type of smarting pain, burning pain, it and us which remains even hours together after passing the stool. Colinsonia is another remedy, but this was very specific, and then. i have given ammonium muriaticum 30 potency repeated for a week after starting ammonium muriaticum within 8 days her pains gradually stopped on after 5 6 days completely stopped and she started getting little bit discharge again her leucorrhea returned it was a good sign because after getting the leucorrhea she her hemorrhoids problem is settled see psychotic miasm and syphilitic miasm has characteristic that abnormal discharges amyloids and this remedy is a psychosyphilitic remedy ammonium muriaticum is psychosyphilitic cancer miasm even this remedy covers the cancer of stomach so i asked her to stop the remedy i have continued her on placebo nearly about 15 days placebo was going on there was leucorrhea which returned which remained nearly about for a month and then gradually it has stopped by itself there is no more repetition needed for period of one and half months and thereafter one day she complained that she again got some discharge so i have given ammonium muriaticum 200 bundles and kept her on placebo and she recovered 
So it was again a very good recovery which has happened after this remedy. So both the cases were interesting in my practice and shown, yes, this is the ammonium muriaticum. So we'll go with this remedy, understand the ammonium mur for the, from the Allen's keynote. It is short remedy, but we'll discuss many things over there. One important thing which I want to share with you that it is exactly having the opposite constitution than the lycopodium. In lycopodium is semidropsical, the upper half is small and lower half is big. Exactly opposite is there with the ammonium muriaticum. So ammonium muriaticum, sal ammoniac, NH4Cl, specially, specially adapted to those who are fat and sluggish. Our body is large, fat, but legs are too, too thin. See, upper half is fat, big, and lower half is thin. Very exactly opposite. Keep it in your mind. Opposite to lycopodium is ammonium muriaticum. Watery acrid coryza corroding the leaves. There is a watery coryza. Again, looks very close to the natremur. Natremur is also having similar type of coryza. Uh, Natramur, there is also corrosion, there is also fewer blisters. Allium sipa, yes, everyone knows, but allium sipa, the modalities are very strong. As soon as the person goes into the warm room, it aggravates. In open air, it emulates. Such a modality is not specific over there in this remedy. During menses, diarrhea and vomiting. Very close. The ammonium carp and ammonium moor, they are very close to each other. Their ammonium futures are very close. And that's why diarrhea and vomiting, especially during menses, both remedies, we have discussed while discussing ammonium carp, that is cholera-like symptoms at the commencement of menses. It is so strong associated with cold sweat on the forehead, that is with the ammonium carp. This remedy has a bloody discharge from the bowels, like phosphorus. During menses, there is bloody discharge from the bowels, like phosphorus. Very, very important italics. It is given in italics. That's a meaning. During menses, there are neuralgic pains in the feet. Yes, that, that I have missed in that case. That first sciatica patient, there were neuralgic pains in the lower extremity. That was very, very typical. And this, this is very typical of ammonium muriaticum. During menses, flow more profuse at the night. So flow is very, very much marked at the night like bovista. Bovista also has aggravation or more flow at the night. More flow on lying down is creosote. It is not night. The, the modalities are different. Even daytime patient lies down and flow increases is creosote. It is not with the ammonium moor or bovista. Bovista has, and ammonium moor has very specific. It is only during night. So differentiation one must understand between them. Obstinate constipation accompanied by much platus. So strong constipation like alumina, like opium, the obstinate constipation that is without urging. Hard crumbling stools require great effort in expulsion. Difficulty in passing the stools. Crumble at the verge of anus like magmur, that is muraticum feature. Crumbling of the stools at the verge of anus is very typical. Crumbles means Stools are very in color. No two stools are alike, like pulsatilla, like podophyllum, polychromatic diarrhea. No two stools are alike. Hemorrhoids. See, hemorrhoids, this is very important. Sore smarting with burning and stinging in the rectum from for hours after the stool, like asculus, like sulfur, like nitric acid, like retania, like colinsonia, this is very typical. So here it, it is not possible to differentiate, but next sentence is very important. Hemorrhoid, especially after suppressed leucorrhea. So leucorrhea is suppressed and hemorrhoids complaints aggravated. This is the remedy. Leucorrhea. Now, leucorrhea is very characteristic again, like white of an egg, preceded by gripping pain about the navel. So, there is a crumbling, there is a gripping pain about the navel. Leucorrhea, brown, slimy, painless after every urination. That is given in italics. Patient goes for urination and every time patient gets the 
leucorrhea that is this is very important ammonia immunity one has to understand these modalities because these are the modalities which differentiate this remedy from the other remedy all those features are associated with the typical muraticum mind and that muraticum mind you have to understand from the common remedies like natremur muratic ammonium mur magmur you can get it from muratic acid the weakness of muratic acid is again present in this remedy also fever during prostration of muratic acid similar type of prostration also gets in ammonium muraticum that is a muratic characteristic that weakness is characteristic of this second important thing the grief the moroseness the sulkiness then a uh, weeping alone when never wants to show weeping in front of other those are characteristic of chloride group and that those are also as present in ammonium mood. so many times we miss we we go with the natremur because we we know the theme of natremur more commonly than those rest of the remedy sensation of coldness in the back between the scapulae like lacanthesis and this is the characteristic of the remedy backache associated with severe icy coldness between the scapula that future is very characteristic of this remedy hamstring feels painfully short when walking hamstring spasm specifically a sport injury and there is hamstring spasm and feel, the leg feels shortened this remedy has a very typical role tension in joints as from shortening of muscles like causticum like simex like even you can get it in rustox also hamstring spasm offensive sweat of the feet very close to the cilicia alimina grapatis sorinum sanicula very strong offensive smelling foot feets are there see this remedy if you understand from the core then you will understand the ammonium muraticum these are very intellectual personalities but they were wants to get mixed if you go with the george vitulkas matramedica viva you will understand the core of the remedy at the mental level he has mentioned it very nicely he mentioned over there that these are the persons who are quite intellectual but people never wants to get familiar with them because these are the person never gets easily mixed with others <clears throat> they remains in their own way uh, then in their own world they never wants to get mixed never wants to get communicated and they, they, they are not good company for the others muraticum always are not the good company for others that is the problem so same is true with natremur same is true with ammonium they are quite keen they are quite studious sincere all those qualities are there but because of remaining alone that creates the problem for them and lastly the relationship relation followed by antimprune the phosphorus the pulsatilla and sanicula these are four remedies which he has mentioned for the ammonium muraticum to be get followed by so see ammonium muraticum core if you will understand this remedy is a wonderful remedy and which defines many things second important thing ammonium muraticum action i think it has been not properly mentioned over there but still <clears throat> in the borix matra medica if we'll go you will going to get 20 to 30 days action no complementary remedy is mentioned this remedy is chronic in nature george vitulka has said that this is a good remedy for the cancer of stomach also but that cancer of stomach is a psychosyphilitic miasm is a pathology for this remedy so it indicates that this remedy is having a in depth action it is not a superficially acting remedy so ammonium muraticum when you learn from all those things then you will understand the core of ammonium mur my suggestion is that to go with the borix matra medica read it at least from borix matra medica so that you will get the particulars over there then you read it from matra medica viva definitely i will suggest in the murphy's keynotes it has been not mentioned 
but with the kent smatra medica you must go with this you can understand the many futures about amoni meradi so a good remedy in our practice amoni meraticum close to natremur magmur muraticum group in fact muratic acid a remedy which is helpful in our practice so today we'll conclude with this tomorrow we'll have anacardium orientalis and it is a big remedy to to be studied because there are n number of features which and it is the remedy where you can get many many cases different varieties of cases in anacardium so we'll meet tomorrow if you have any queries we can have a chat otherwise we'll conclude any questions queries so we'll meet tomorrow again at the same time with ammonium muraticum and my suggestion to all of you don't miss the close philosophy because that those are this is very important from practice point of view daily there is lecture at 4 545 with close philosophy chapter number 9 is going on my suggestion don't miss because close philosophy it is little bit hard to study but if you understand you will understand it is more practical and more useful in day to day practice okay so thank you being there we'll meet again tomorrow thanks good night